Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build price and option the all brand new 2019 Chevrolet Corvette ZR1. Before we get into this, however, just real quick, I'd like to remind you that if you find this video helpful, entertaining, or both, to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, I'd really appreciate it. All right, so let's get into this thing. Car's all brand new this year. Um, what else? What can we say? The last time I remember the Cor the ZR1 being around was like right around 2009 through right around 2011. It was only around for a few years, wasn't it? And then prior to that, it was around in the early 90s for just a few years. Correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, leave a comment in the uh, below. Let me know. Um, so look at this. $121,000. It's big boy money. 755 horsepower. 715 pound-feet of torque. This trim that's shown on this car is 132,009. Uh, we've got a several colors. You got an orange, Sebring, uh, Long Beach red. Got a Watkins Glen. I think it's gray. Uh, this is my favorite right now. The ceramic matrix gray. Uh, we've got an Arctic white, blade silver, black, Corvette racing yellow, torch red. I like that one as well. Uh, Admiral blue metallic. Um, so yeah, this car. I mean. <laughs> what is there to say? I mean, it makes so much power. It's so unbelievable. I'm very happy this car's around. I was really sad when the Dodge Viper ACR, the last one, uh, they made went away because I thought, oh, we have no super, super car. And now we have one back. It's a 6.2 liter uh, LT5 V8 engine. It's got a top track speed of 212. It does 0 to 60 in 2.85 seconds. That's a clickable link, as you can see. So they must have some type of disclaimer there um here's what i'm really excited about the car comes in either a seven speed manual so for the, for those people that want to shift through the gears themselves great but they were smart to make an eight speed paddle shift i think that's where the american manufacturers dropped the ball because everybody else has moved on to automatics the new m5 um or dct paddle shift transmissions which are really automat fully automatics if you want them to be anyway so everybody else is doing it and it's seemingly like the american manufacturers of the performance car has been holding out so it's really great to see this uh, i'm really happy to see that so what's going on here is i've i've looked this this page over a couple times so what we're kind of doing is we're going to go over this overview page. There's quite a bit to go over, but it's going to familiarize us with this with this new model. We get to look at the specs, the features, and all that. And then we'll finally click that build and price button, and we'll go ahead and build and price an option one and see what it costs to put one in the garage. Um, so this car uses uh, an extensive use of carbon fiber. It's designed with one purpose in mind. They say that's performance. Um it's got a Chevron pattern, uh, pattern carbon fiber halo hood and engine cover. Said it's meticulously crafted to shed weight and house the potent engine beneath. Right. Mm -hmm. Their shapes are very functional as they are stunning. Right. Form and function. So we've got the front grille. So these are clickable links, and all they do is kind of give us close-ups. What we're not going to do, we're not going to actually look at that because right below here, we're going to get a chance to look at those pictures in better detail. Uh, what's also cool is that when you do click these images, it gives you an exhaust clip. But further down this page, there's another place where we could do an exhaust clip, and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to take a look at all these, but we'll take a look at this stuff from here. All right. Otherwise, it's going to keep playing the exhaust note and just keeps going on and on. So there's that uh, Chevron Chevron patterned uh, carbon fiber weave on the engine cover there. We can't see the roof. Here's the carbon fiber splitter. I'm assuming it's a different pattern because they didn't mention it. Here's these lights. They're very cool, aren't they? They look more Cadillac-ish, so to speak. They look more high-end, more bejeweled. They're very attractive. I, I, I love what manufacturers are doing with lights. I mean, it's really great, isn't it? Um, all right, let's move on. So we've got the uh, what looks like some kind of titanium alloy, aluminum-looking wheel. We've got, obviously, huge carbon ceramic brakes, blue, uh, blue rotors. We've got carbon fiber down here on the rocker. Really aggressive. You can kind of see that comes this uh, carbon fiber splitter comes all the way out to the edge. Um, we got a four exhaust. They've been doing that for a minute, though. We got the huge rear ring, rear wing. This is part of I think they call the BTK or package. We'll 
I'll, don't quote me on that till we get to that spot. Uh, really attractive car, though. There's the uh, better shot of that engine cover. Car looks very aggressive. Very, very aggressive. Look at all the arrow on this car. It is really making a lot of downforce, surely. Uh, here's the car in that Sebring orange. Uh, looks to be in that same trim, but the wheels look maybe black. Yep, mm, carbon fiber rear wing. There it is in a in a in a convertible uh, form. Still attractive. I'm not much of a convertible guy, but still attractive. This is a stunning picture of the car right there. The interior is wonderful. I've always liked the Corvette interior, especially of late. It's got the TFT screen. You've got the carbon fiber flat bottom steering wheel. Look, you've got suede Alcantara up here. This one's a fully loaded one with heads up and everything I can tell here. You've got the aluminum pedals. You've got the race bucket seats. You've got some kind of iDrive, Mercedes command-like wheel. Everybody's kind of going to that now, aren't they? I don't know if that's for the driver selector mode or not. I'm not sure. That This was the car in an automatic trim. Here's the car in uh, manual configuration. Uh, we get a good shot of the infotainment system right here. And we can see a lot of carbon weave right there. And a grab handle for the passenger. <laughs> uh, good sh close-up shot of the steering wheel. And I think that's where we started off. Yeah, let's close that window out. And we'll keep moving. So, irrefutable proof that it's what's inside that counts. Yeah, 6.2 uh, 6 liter LT5 supercharged small block V8 engine. 755 horse, 715 torque. With over 600 of that torque available from 2200. Right, got a supercharger deal. What's with the supercharger? The largest Eaton supercharger to date delivers peak boost pressure of 13 psi. It's 52% larger displacement than the LT4. All right, it's got a high flow efficiency four lobe design rotors and it maintains peak effectiveness at higher speeds. The throttle body is surely gigantic, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Surely, yeah. A new 95 millimeter bore throttle body complements the larger supercharger and dual fuel injection system. Yes, dual fuel injection system to flow plenty of air into the LT5. We've got the dual fuel injection system. Um, a Chevrolet first, right? They've got a double fuel, so they've uh, the system uses a port fuel rail and injectors. In addition, in it and injectors, <laughs> in addition to direct injection. So. Was the engine starving for fuel and they just needed to keep that fuel fat? Did they need to keep the fuel curve fat? I'm not sure. But nonetheless, what, what, whatever reason why it exists, it's very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, won't be cheap to keep this car serviced probably. I don't know. Who knows? Um, let's see. The dry sump. This is the race, uh, racing lubrication system basically uh, whereby oil is pumped into the engine from a 9.8 liter uh, quart capacity tank within the engine bay, uh, ensuring oil flow to critical areas when you're doing that hard cornering, right? So all the oil isn't like sloshing to one side of the engine and starving the engine. So this prevents all of that, all right? Um, this is a video clip of uh, the car reaching its top speed. Um, here's that sound clip of the exhaust. We got to activate it. And then I'll go ahead and start the engine. We'll get a nice little clip of this thing here at run. Yeah. That's nice. Very nice. Very cool. Very cool. All right. That's pretty cool. Sounds good. Sounds really good. All right. So wheels and tires. Let's look at the brakes and the chassis technology. I know you're reading around while I am too, but uh, so this car rides on 19s in the front, 19 inch wheels on the front, 20 inch aluminum wheels in the back. So they weren't magnesium or titanium, they're aluminum wheels uh, on Michelin Pilot Super Sports, 285 30s up front, and you've got the 335 25 20s out back. Big tires, summer tires only, of course. Um, or if oh, it's the ZTK, not BTK. <laughs> Uh, ZTK track package, right? Performance package to connect the road and the track to the Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2. So you get a different set of tires when you get the ZTK package. On um, the brake package here, it's standard high performance Brembo carbon ceramic brakes, ultimate stopping power, I'm sure. 15.5 inch rotors up front, the 15 threes in the back. The chassis technology, I'm not surprised. It's the magnetic ride control, uh, obviously specially tuned for the Corvette. 
Uh, it's reading the road, it says, basically every 15 milliseconds. Um, it's customized to give this car a spot-on driving feel and works in tandem, it says, with the sport traction traction management and the electronic limited slip differential. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm sure it works wonderfully. This is an amazing car to me. Um, so we got a little more things, a few more things to go over on this page, and then we'll jump into the build. So let's learn about this low wing. Let's learn about the low wing, the high wing, the front under wing, and the cooling. The low wing, as you probably already have been reading, uh, is what really helps the car achieve its top speed and really probably keep it stable, offering 20% less drag than the available adjustable high wing, which we'll look at in a little bit, uh, helping it, you know, create the downforce it needs to get to this 212 mile an hour top speed. Let's see about the high wing. The high wing is more about the track package, surely, because it's making a ton of downforce, a ton of downforce. So that's what it's all about, right? Uh, remember the Viper ACR had a bunch of arrow on it. So that's what this car is all about as well. We're going to be, it's going to be interesting to see how this car stacks up. You know, everybody's going to be paying attention to what kind of numbers this car puts down on the track versus all those records that the Viper ACR broke just a few years back. Um, so front underwing, Corvette first. ZR1 bo uh, borrows the front underwing technology from the race car world to its closeout panel uh, into a downforce control surface. So, you know, they're controlling, basically they're controlling the air going underneath the car as well, just like race cars do. Not just the air that goes across the top and the sides, but also underneath. Uh, and then cooling, and this is crazy, this car's got a power steering cooler, differential oil cooler, transmission cooling, uh, and these are modules from the Z06, and then it adds five additional radiators, right? Four of them in the front, and then a new one, uh, a new front low temperature radiator. All right, this puts keeps this car cool. You know, these things are hot. When you're making this much power, that's heat. That's heat, which is the ultimate destroyer of enemy. Uh, of enemy. This is the ultimate enemy of engines, and the ultimate destroyer of engines is heat. So it's all about controlling that for sure. Here's some information on the ZTK track performance package. Uh, its singular focus is all about the track. It's all about the track. And that's why, even though I think it's cool, you know, it's always cool to say, I got one that's loaded, whatever car you get, and it's got everything. But the reality is, is for me, if I'm putting this car in, the, in my garage, I'm probably not going to really ever probably take this thing to the track. And if I do, I'm not going to be going to the track so hardcore that I need the ZTK package because it's going to give me, I'm going to knock a couple of tenths off my off my lap time. You know, it's it's just not that serious for me. So it's not really a price thing. It's a, am I going to really use it or is it just a thing to have because it's, you know, the thing to have perhaps. But let's find out what it's all about. So you get the adjustable carbon high rear wing. Uh, you get the carbon fiber end caps on those front splitters. Remember we looked at that front splitter. You get the Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. They're summer tires. You get the 30% higher front and 13% higher rear spring rate. So it's stiffer. Uh, and then you get a sp specific tune on that magnetic ride. Okay. Um, here's a shot of that interior. We've already looked at that. The interior comes in two configurations. The 1ZR. You get the jet black leather seating surfaces with available microfiber inserts and unique badging. The 3ZR, which, you know, we got to go for the full array. Uh, interior color options, heated and vented Napa leather, uh, leather wrap seating, uh, steering wheel, carbon fiber trim. Well, it says rim, right? The rim right here and up there, okay? Um, performance data recorder, that's for your track time stuff. I'm not really up on that because I don't really, it's no big deal, but it's nice to have. Uh, but the bows, I definitely want. And the, and the competition sports seats, you can get either way, whether you get the 1ZR or the 3ZR. Uh, this is that Sebring Orange custom package. Um, so, you know, orange brake calipers. Uh, obviously, the paint. It's got an exclusive bronze aluminum interior. Um, it's got some accent stripes and seat belts and interior stitching. Right. What is that? Let's take a quick look. Yeah, there's the stitching. It's attractive. It's attractive. I don't I don't think we're going to option for the orange, but it's attractive. Uh, as far as the performance command center, we've got there. That's not a it's not an iDrive command. It's the mode selector that was that knob down there. So you've got three modes, tour, sport, sport and track, of course, uh, and very cool. Uh, reconfigurable TFT instrument cluster. And I love these things. 
I love the digital display. I also love the heads up. You can't go wrong with any of that. And then, of course, the performance data recorder. So, and you can use an SD memory card to put it in there and record all your driving sessions in real time performance data. So, that's cool. I guess you could just drive around town with that on as well. So, you don't have to just be at the track. So, that's kind of cool. I guess that makes it interesting. Uh, let's check the tech here. Obviously, what, 4G LTE, uh, touchscreen display. You can send and receive text, play music, more. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, um, Bluetooth, audio input jack, USB ports. You got it. It's got a drop down center. This, you know, GM does that where they put these little cubbies behind the infotainment system. So it's got that. Uh, it's got the uh, Sirius XM. Uh, we're going to be getting the 3ZR. So we're going to get the premium bows, the upgraded bows. And I think that really about takes care of the overview. So with that said, let's jump over into the build. All right? Let's jump over into the build. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. are we going to go with the coupe or are we going to go with the convertible? Well, I'm not much of a convertible guy. We're going to go with the coupe, right? We are already out the door here at 123, basically one, 123,001. Uh, only comes in rear wheel drive. Got that 6.2 liter direct injection and port fuel injection engine. Um, t -t 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 let's go to trims. Let's move to trim. What are we going to pick? Now, we knew we were going to do the 3ZR, didn't we? We knew we were going to do the 3ZR, but let's just look real quick, look over what comes with the 1ZR. You got that nine-speaker Bose, uh, the one-seat color option, right? It was black. Uh, two eight-inch color displays. Um, I'm not going to go over all of that. These are run-flat tires. I love run-flat tires on the Michelin Pilot Sports. Bluetooth phone connectivity, Brembo carbon ceramics. 4G LTE, you got the magnetic ride and performance traction management, keyless access, push button start, color head up, Apple CarPlay. Um, yeah, you're getting a lot, but you should. The car's $119,000 for crying out loud. The 1ZR is giving you a lot of money, or giving you a lot of stuff for the money, right? But we're going to get the 3ZR. Why? Because the 3ZR gives you all of that stuff we were just looking over, plus this stuff the Napa leather, the navigation. The performance data recorder, the microfiber wrapped upper interior trim, the luggage shade cargo area net, uh, enhanced theft deterrent package, memory package, and all these other things. The upgraded stereo, the heated and vented seats, you know, a lot of stuff. If we kind of look over some of the standard features and specs, let's just go over it. It's worth noting, I think, don't you? Yeah, 755 horsepower, blah, 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 variable valve timing. Uh, we're going to go for the automatic uh, transmission, but if you get the 7-speed, it's got uh, active rev matching. Uh, we know about the dry sump. It's got a 342 rear end, electronic limited slip. Uh, it's got a rear differential cooler. It's rear-wheel drive, we know, the aluminum frame. Um, feel free to pause the video if you want to read any of this stuff in detail. ZR1 standard suspension. Here's what's included. It's got five settings to torque reduction. They want you to control this thing and not kill yourself. It's got power steering that's speed sensitive it's got that brembo we've read about the brembo it's got the blue painted brake calibers i guess that's standard it's got a performance exhaust with an aggressive sound uh polished tips the interior uh we kind of know what's going on in the interior let me see if there's anything notable we go on with the 3zr we kind of already have gone over most of it so we know that stuff so let's select the 3zr that's what we're getting that's going to put us at 100 and what 33,090. All right, let's move on to colors. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm already all about the uh, ceramic matrix gray metallic, right? The blue is good, the white and all of that, but I really feel the ceramic matrix gray metallic. Yeah, they've got the premium colors down here, the yellow, the red, the orange for $9.95, um, but I really like the ceramic gray, uh, and I think it looks really, really good. And we're going to mate this with... We're going to make this with the Spice Red. I've already done this build. I've already done this build. And then when I was producing the video, the video crashed and I lost the video. So we're doing the build again. <laughs> so I've already gone through this before. So I decided to go with the Spice Red because I liked it because it was a little bit darker than the Adrenaline Red. I kind of liked it a little bit darker when it plays against the Ceramic Gray. I like that, that color combination. You know, you can never go wrong with black, but I want to do something a little bit different. The Kalahari, the some shade of tan or brown, I'm not really feeling that. 
the red with the suede microfiber i don't really feel that because i want it full i want full leather and i just like the red it just seems fun so we're going with the red uh do we get everything on this page yeah we did let's move on to packages um now the ztk package you basically let's get the let's hit the info and see what we get you get the high wing you get the sport cup 2 tire so a different set of tires and they they too are run flat you get a different suspension the suspension is stiffer and you get a different calibration of the magnetic ride and you get some removable uh, removable carbon fiber end caps for the front splitter you only use those on the track um you know i could do without the wing right to be honest uh but i mean it is cool it is cool it is cool i mean it's gonna make this car pretty dang hardcore it really is <sighs> okay let's do it let's do it let's do it let's do the ztk track well wait a minute no we're not here's why we're not gonna do it we're not doing it because i want the red leather and as soon as i do this it's gonna change the interior so no we're not gonna do that okay we're not gonna miss out on anything i promise you I'm also going to save this build, so it's the link is going to be in the description below, so you can grab the build. We're not going to do the orange either, because that's, that too is going to change this interior, and and that's enough of a reason. I don't even need to go into the other reasons why the other packages are going to, won't work. They're not going to work because they're going to get rid of my red leather, and I want the red leather. So next step is the exterior. Um, I'm going to keep these wheels. I don't really, really want the black wheels, but these are carbon flash painted. Let's look at this. Let's look at the carbon flash painted. The way, the reason I say that is because there's also some carbon flash painted side mirror co uh, covers that we're going to get. And you know what? That's probably going to go really well with the car. It is. That looks good, doesn't it? Hopefully that doesn't take too long. Yeah, let's go back. Yeah, that looks good. All right, exterior. That looks good. So we're going to do that. Let's do that for 495. I think that looks good. Funny thing is, in my other build that, that the video messed up, I didn't. I stuck with the pearl nickel, just FYI. But on second reflection, I like them. I with all the carbon going on and all the black going on and I think the color of the, you know, this ceramic gray, it's just really gorgeous, isn't it? It is. I think so. We're going with the 8-speed manual, man. That's the way to go. To me, that's the smart way to go. Uh, we're also going with the Corvette engine build experience, too. That's also the smart way to go. Hand build your engine at the GM Performance Build Center in Bowling Green, Kentucky, under the supervision of somebody who knows what the heck they're doing, a skilled technician. A personalized nameplate will be added to the engine, requires a sold order. Right, you got you buy the car. <laughs> That's what it says, buy the car, and then we can do it. Somebody will contact you from the National Corvette Museum to facilitate this thing. Uh, let's do it. We're in. The battery protection package, basically, if the car's sitting in the garage a lot and you're not running it, do you want, put a battery tender on it. That's really what it is. Do you want to get one from General Motors, from the from Corvette, from GM or Chevy, or do you want to go buy the, the battery tender one? I'd probably get the battery tender. Are they going to say anything about this one? But this one we know is going to be perfect for the car, so you know what? Let's go ahead and get it. Forget it. Let's just go ahead and get it. Performance suspension. I'm not going to select this because what this is is this, this is the ZTK package, so we're not we can't get it. Uh, do we want the dark gray metallic painted calipers? No. The blue kind of looks cool. What about the red though? Is that too? Maybe the red's too. I don't know. Is cliche the right word? Because meaning that you always see performance cars with red brake calipers is what I mean. You even see them with yellow, but you don't see them with blue. I think we're going to leave the blue. That's the default color. Let's leave the blue. Let's see what the dark gray. <laughs> Let's see what the dark gray looks like. Let's see if it's too muted. But maybe we want muted. Uh, no, I think I like the splash of color. Let's do the splash of color. We're gonna keep the blue, the standard blue. Um, we're not doing any of these different Jake logo center caps or anything like that. Um, just FYI though, this is all stuff that you could go to Chevrolet and just go to the uh, parts counter and just order this stuff. Same with the wheel locks, but we're gonna get the wheel locks. Um, the dual fiber uh, roof, I can't remember. I didn't get it. It's transparent, and I wasn't really feeling that. I like that it's carbon fiber, and it's visible, and it's got the color surround, but I don't really like that it's transparent because all I'm going to do is put something up to cover that transparency. So they probably do have an insert for that, so then you get the best of both worlds. Hmm, I bet you they do have an insert for that. I bet you they do. 
So based on the fact that I think that they have an insert for that so that I don't have to have sunlight beaming through the car all the time because I just don't want that, I'm going to go ahead and get that, if that with that caveat in mind. If they don't have that, then I would certainly remove this. So I'm going to select that. And so we're going to get that dual roof because I think I want to see that weave. And then it adds that extra piece of body color paint right there, you see. And I think that's worth it. Uh, do I want the blackout roof decal? No, because I just <laughs> did that. Uh, the carbon flash painted outside mirror. See, that's what I was talking about for 100 bucks. See, that's going to change that here. And that's going to match the wheels really good. This car is shaping up to look fantastic. If you're looking to buy one of these, you're going to like this spec. And that's why the, the there's a link in the description below. Because you can save these builds as a PDF. And I upload it to Mediafire, which is my little file sharing site that I like to use. And then that gives me a link that I then give you a link. And then you can get the PDF to the build. That's how it works. So, chrome pack and badge package? No, we don't need it. Uh, do we want this premium indoor vehicle cover? That's a fully rendered C7R race car. Mm -hmm, we do. Yes, we do. Um, this is for the ZTK package. Uh, so we're not going to get that. Uh, I don't think we need to get a license plate frame. Uh, I do want the Corvette Museum delivery for a thousand bucks. I've already built the engine. I'm five grand into that. So yeah, I want that. Uh, the interior. I know I want the competition seats, the sport bucket seats. Oh, missed the check. There we go. I know I don't want the two-tone. I know that already because of the color of the leather that I can't do any of this uh, stitching or anything like that. The 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 black seat belts are fine. I do not need red seat belts. I'm cool with that. I don't need a name plate because I may sell the car one day. Um, I don't need the name plate that they're gonna adhere somewhere in the car. If they don't adhere it, then maybe. Let's find out. Do they adhere it or do you just get a plaque? Offers the ultimate personalization of your Corvette. Features a factory installed plaque. In the front center console, front center console of the dash. Uh, no, mm -mm, no, I'll pass on that. Cancel. Uh, cargo shade, a cover, cargo shade cover. Yeah, concealed belongings in the rear. Yeah, I want that. Select the luggage. Yeah, cause I'm a fanboy of this car. I want the luggage. You know I do. Come on. Uh, we're up at 147,850, but we're almost done. Let's take a look at accessories. And all it really is is the duffel bags and luggage. And yeah, I'm a fanboy, so I'm on it. I want all of this stuff because I'm going to love it. I want the whole experience, man. That's why I got the engine experience, the delivery. I'm not the only guy that's that's doing all that. These emblems and the smokers package? Nope. I already have a battery tender. We already did that. Um, do I need a lock for my vehicle cover? Nope. Don't need that either. So let's jump over to the summary. Car was $128,900 uh, to start. We're sitting at $147,000. Uh, we spent $15,755 in options. We will look at them. There were 13 of them. We did get those four accessories. That was basically the duffel bags and stuff at the end for $762. This car has a gas guzzler tax of $2,100 and a destination charge of about $1,100. Let's look at these selected options one more time just to refresh you. And I'm going to save this. That's what this print button is. I'm going to save it as a PDF. So you can download it, right? So you can get the specs on this bad boy. We got the carbon fiber dual roof, the battery protection, the 8-speed paddle shift automatic. We did the Corvette engine build experience. We got the ZR1 carbon flash painted aluminum wheels. We got the museum delivery. The wheel locks, which is a genuine Corvette accessory, and that's why I did it. Uh, the carbon fiber or carbon flash painted outside mirrors. The funky, cool uh, premium indoor vehicle cover competition sport bucket seats um the custom luggage and that cargo shade right and then we finished off with uh a couple of three duffel bags a couple of duffel bags a messenger bag and a rolling suitcase <laughs> so 140 dollars for really a ferrari beater a Lamborghini beater, a Porsche beater. I don't know about Coin Seg Agera R. I wouldn't go that far, but this is this is a hardcore car, and I could drive this thing a lot. What do you think? Leave your uh, <laughs> leave, leave your thoughts in the comments below. And you know what? If you've made it to the end of the video, again, thank you. I really appreciate you watching my videos. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos. Thanks a lot.